gentlemen, it is time for one of our featured matchups of the evening, featuring two, count of two, of KG's Bud. Two of my favorite wrestlers in the world are gonna fight for the very first time, and did you hear that ovation? This entire crowd stood on their feet the moment the chocolate juggalo, Willie Mack, came through the curtain. I know you call him something different, John, but to me, he will, uh, you call him Chocolate Thunder, I call him the Chocolate Juggalo. The world knows him as Willie Mack, and he is without a doubt, pound for pound, dollar for dollar, one of the most exciting wrestlers on the scene in the world today. John. Willie Mack competed in the King of Indies tournament, went all the way to the, all the, way to the finals where he lost to the rock legend scum Adam Thorne. So that was WrestleMania weekend. We thought that we had seen the last of Willie Mack in the APW ring a few months ago. Unfortunately, that company based out of Connecticut decided at the last second they didn't want anything to do with Chocolate Thunder with the Chocolate Juggalo. Maybe so they were afraid of, of the talent and the ability of the Chocolate Juggalo. But you know what? We're not Their afraid of talent. It's our game. There is no glass ceiling on pro wrestling, John. Oh my God. Oh my God, it's MVP, John. It's your boy, MVP. Upcoming guest on KevinGillShow.com. Look at these children, they're hugging him with all their might. Look at this, they're like, whoa. I thought he was gonna come away with a kid just stuck to him like, a, like an alien from the movie Aliens. MVP making his way to ringside. To a thunderous ovation. Representing that beatdown clan. You know, you can see MVP each and every Wednesday night on Destination America as part of Impact Wrestling. But I was talking to MVP in the car earlier, John. He has not wrestled in the state of California since his WWE days. And since then, it's been Japan. It's been uh, Impact Wrestling. And now tonight for one special night. The following contest is a special attraction singles match scheduled for one fall. This battle of a 30 minute time limit. Remembering for this contest, APW senior official Sparky Balor. In all pro wrestling. Introducing first, he was the runner up in the 2015 King of Indies from South Central Los Angeles, weighing in tonight in 284 pounds, Chocolate Thunder, Willie Mack. Wow, big match field. More announcements. And his opponent, you've seen him on your television screen for over 10 years, and tonight he is live right here in All Pro Wrestling. From Miami, Florida, weighing in at 255 pounds, this is MVP. Sorry, John, I'm, I'm here applauding. I'm applauding for Willie Mack. I'm applauding for MVP. And I'm applauding for All Pro Wrestling for being the first wrestling promoters in the world to put this match together. This is a once in a lifetime matchup. Big game matchup, big game feel. The lights are on bright. The crowd is on their feet. Electricity in the air as the Chocolate Juggalo, Chocolate Thunder, and the man behind the beatdown crew here set to do battle. Beatdown clan, right? Beatdown clan. They are a crew. They are a crew. They're a clan. Call them what you will. But here, this is what we call the feeling out process, John. It's just amazing. All the places both these guys have been, they've never crossed paths in a ring before. So they're, they're going to be feeling each other out here. MVP with the quick strength advantage. Test the strength. But look at, look look at the Mac bridge. Willie Mac shoulders. bridging, John. That takes incredible, incredible core strength. Once again, MVP going for it. Two count only. Again. Look at that bridge that time. All the way up onto his head was Willie Mac. If you want to talk about endorsements and pedigrees, Willie Mac is, is endorsed by the great Sean X Pac Waltman. And if you could get the endorsement of a WWE Hall of Fame like Waltman, whoa. Look at the strength of MVP. Even with those knees taken away, look at, oh. whoa! MVP with the counter, looking for a submission here. Look at this. From this position, and neither man still has yet to, to break the test. But now, it's MVP with the side handlock taken away. 
Unbelievable, John, unbelievable. It's only in all pro wrestling where you can see this kind of thing. It's great for the people of San Francisco and it's great for the wrestling world at large that gets to enjoy this type of competition. Willie Mack just applying all the pressure he can and you know how high Willie Mack can jump, you know how strong those leg muscles are and I imagine if you're not can't, careful, they could pop your head like a pimple, John Roberts. If Willie Mack did that to you, your brains would have shot out of your head like the top of a blackhead after a hot shower. You know what I'm saying. Willie Mack in trouble right now, MVP with that front face lock. Going to work on Chocolate Thunder. You know, we sell these fans the entire seat, but for this match, they're only gonna need the edge of it, KG. They are sitting with anticipation, waiting to explode to their feet. And applause at any moment. Chocolate Thunder with a one count there in that pinning attempt on MVP. And again, very, uh, very evenly matched competitors, and it just goes to show you how strong the independent wrestling movement is here in America, here in California, that we have a homegrown talent like Willie Mack, who's competing against a world-class international competitor like MVP, and he's totally holding his own, John. Side headlock from MVP. Both these men been wrestling all over the world for many years. Side headlock takeover by the man behind the beatdown clan. But this is the first time, as you said earlier, KG, the first time any wrestling promoter the world over has put this match on. The eyes of the wrestling world are on Daly City, California tonight here at the Bayshore Community Center. Look at this. Wow. Wow. And with ease, you see how quickly he just popped out of it. Popped right out, Chuck. fluid like water rolling down the back of your hand. Absolutely, it's all part of that, that training. It's not, just in the, it's not just in the gym or in the ring. The mental preparation and, and MVP, MVP's like like almost a genius IQ levels, man. His knowledge of, of wrestling, of psychology, of all of that is truly second to none. And you can see here, this is, like I said, it's part of this feeling out process, John, but eventually he's finding out where is the open. Oh my God! Willie Mack gets the opening, puts the boots to the chest of MVP, who's right back to his oh. <laughs> Oh, even MVP has a grin on his face after that. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Chocolate Thunder saying, that's the best you got. I can go toe to toe with you, brother. He sure can. Willie Mack, you know, not that he has to prove himself to anyone. Ooh. Wow. Willie oh, Mack oh. answers with one of his own. We saw him go toe to toe without a Thornstone at the King of Indies tournament, trading forearms just like that. And now he's doing it with the man world known, world traveled. Absolutely, man. MVP. MVP able to shrug off the effects of that chop, shrugging off the effects of that one too. Wait a minute. Oh, wait. He's like, if you want to hit me, dog, hit me. Exposing the chest for that knife edge chop. Two, three, four. Uh oh! Whoa, firing back. MVP, a house of fire. Irish whip. Looked telegraphed it. No! Oh! See, that's why I talk about smarts, John. He didn't telegraph it. He wanted his opponent to think that he did. But instead of trying to go for something else, just goes right back to the well and puts Willie Mack five on minutes, his back. Contest five minutes. Unbelievable. MVP just locking in that, that torque. Pulling, just looking he's gonna pull the bottom jaw of uh, Willie Mack right off there. Mack in trouble right now as the crowd behind Chocolate Thunder, who we never thought we'd see in an APW ring again. And we're seeing him here tonight. And in an all-star matchup against MVP. Mack in trouble, gets set for the ride. Thrown across the ring by MVP, no. oh, and a counter! Counters the arm drag with a Lucha style arm drag of his own, and here comes Willie Mack, quick as a cat! <laughs> Did you see that? Ducks the back elbow, hits that flying knee right on the jaw of MVP. Willie Mack needs to capitalize on this situation now. Willie Mack starting to be like, you know what, dog? You might have underestimated and underestimated me. Easy for me to say. And now look at this. Willie Mack, those knees were so nice he had to hit him twice, but only got that two count on MVP, John. Only a two count for Chocolate Thunder KG. Willie Mack throws that elbow. And another, right? It looks like right in that, uh, right in that trapezius area. 
And now locking in a chin lock, John. Willie Mack, I'm not sure if he may have, I'm not sure the official word, but I think Willie Mack may have a, a pound or two on MVP and trying to use that additional weight to just weigh down on that torso and, 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 and affect the ability of MVP to put air into his lungs. Not much of a weight advantage, but some just nonetheless. But I'm pretty sure MVP's got a slight height advantage. Yes. So they're pretty evenly matched. If you take the plus yep. and minus, it's pretty Whoa. Down. Down. What a great kick, heel kick from Chocolate Thunder. MVP is reeling right now, KG. MVP is super reeling, and Willie Mack is starting to get his groove back. This is where Willie Mack goes into Mack mode, and when he goes into Mack mode, John, it's not long before the match is usually done, but he's never been in there with someone like MVP. He almost suplexed him right out of the ring, John. It might Virtual not have been pretty, play. but Virtual it was effective. Play. Don't, oh, don't cut over me. Vertical shoot play from Willie Mack. Goes for the cover. Only able to get a two count on MVP. Willie Mack checking in with the referee there. Sparky Ballard only a two. Wait a minute. Willie Mack's got a phone call. And a chorus of boos for our jabroni sound man, with, obviously with his phone connected to the PA system, John. Only in independent wrestling, the same place where the mic's always off. But I digress, because here comes MVP. Big close line to the floor on Willie Mack. MVP in charge right now with that close line. Willie Mack distracted with the cell phone ring. Exactly. Exactly. Is this more mind games by MVP? I gotta wonder, KG. You know the beatdown clamp can't be far behind wherever MVP goes. Oh my god, MVP oh! with the plancha! Plancha to the outside, takes down Chocolate Thunder, and MVP lands on his feet. You know, John, unlike you, this isn't the first MVP match I've called in my career. It was just one week ago from tonight, I was calling an MVP match in the great state of Georgia. So I'm very seasoned and savvy with was the MVP big Doc Dallas Productions? It was for Big LG Productions in Muscle America. But it was great, man. And seeing what MVP did there in Georgia, it made me excited to see what he was going to do today. But Willie Mack just ate that guardrail, John. He just got dropped right on, right across his chest. Good Lord. I was just trying to break your balls, John. But now, uh, now I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Willie Mack in trouble right now. MVP. Wow. <laughs> Ooh. This isn't going to end well, John. Forearm shots. Wait a minute. MVP breaking that count. Willie Mack stuck in that corner. Oh, my God. Here comes MVP. Here he comes. Oh, oh and he home. Good Lord, John. Did you see that impact? MVP's knee colliding with that guardrail. And uh, from this angle, the, the tweak or the torque on the joint. Man, MVP. Man, MVP may have popped his pop, popped his knee, John. May he could have blew it out. shattered his patella tendon. He might have have ACL or MCL or NCL damage. He could be done for in this match. His his wrestling career could be over following an injury like that. One or more of his cruciate ligaments may be damaged, and I believe that in fact his medulla oblongata has been compromised. But I digress, John, because Willie Mack picking him up. No, are you kidding me? Oh! Just slamming him. Hard on the floor, on those pads at ringside that the California State Athletic Commission makes us put at ringside, KG. Damn. State Athletic Commission, damn it. MVP, who was in charge for most of this matchup, in trouble now. Willie Mack able to get his bearings back, get his wits about him, back on a roll here. How Willie got his bearings back. Willie, a new in charge. Standing room only here, John, nice at the job. Bayshore Community Center. And these guys are exchanging blows again. Two lions, two men in the prime of their careers. The seasoned veteran meeting the rising star only in all pro wrestling. Knife edge chop from Chocolate Thunder. Forearm shots from MVP. Gets set, Willie Mack for the ride. Throws him hard into the turnbuckle. Here comes MVP, Collins oh, line. Two, two three. three. MVP lifted him up. Oh, God. Oh, and just throwing him and a kip up. Wow. That's why MVP is a world class competitor, John. I think Willie Mack may have underestimated him here. Double throw. Ooh. 
smashing his face on his knee. Look at that. MVP very small. Oh! Here we go, John. Get ready for it. Ball in! Drops the elbow! Could this be it? Willie Mack in trouble, John. Willie Mack needs a victory here to keep his upward mobility. He's having a hell of a showing, but he wants to win. Wait a minute, MVP setting up for the Playmaker! Playmaker connects, hooks the leg, one, two, he got no! what? What? Willie Mack kicked out of the Playmaker! Willie Mack has done the unthinkable, a move that's put away everyone from Chris Benoit to Eddie Guerrero to you name it. They've fallen victim to the Playmaker, but Willie Mack said simply, nah! He said, nah, John. Here we go. No, a second Playmaker? Unheard of. No. Willie Mack now counters it. Lifted him up. Oh, and dropping it with a Samoan drop. And now Willie Mack Whoa. kicks up. Oh, standing moves up. Standing moves That's up. That's got to be it, John. Two, two three, no. Oh. oh, my God, John. If we had an instant replay rule, Willie Mack might have won that one. I can't believe it. How much closer can you get? Willie Mack hits the Samoan drop out of desperation. Then that standing moonsault for a two and seven eighths count on MVP. And what a beautiful moonsault it was, John. Willie Mack with that forearm KG. MVP trading one back. They're standing and trading, John. It's getting very intense. If I was Willie Mack, I would have went back to another move or a hold here. You don't want to stand and trade with oh! the man. Size 13 across the face. Wait a minute, Willie Mack. You know Willie Mack can fly like no other, John. And Willie Mack looks like he's trying to get up to that top rope, but he's having some difficulty, John. Could he be thinking? Could he be feeling froggy? Oh Willie Mack God. going high rent, high risk. Frog oh. splash, nobody home. Nobody home for the frog splash. MVP. Oh, shiny wizard connects. Could this One, be for Willie Mack? Two, three. MVP conquered Willie Mack, John Roberts. History's been made. Your winner via pinfall in 13 minutes, 44 seconds, MVP. MVP got the victory, but I think, John, you can take nothing away from the efforts of Willie Mack. And at the end of the day, you know who the real winner is in this match, John? The fans, not just here in the Bay Area. The fans who watch all around the world. Why am I saying it like that, John? Why do I say the fans? I'm not sure. But what I do know is that man, Montel Vontavious Porter, AKA MVP, AKA upcoming guest on the Kevin Gill Show, has done the unthinkable. It's not the unthinkable, but it certainly, I didn't know this match could have went either way, John, and well, this, the way it went. This is the first time this match has ever been seen right. in the world, KG, and the winner after one. You know there will be a rematch somewhere in the world. Hopefully here in all pro wrestling is MVP, but I'm pretty sure Chocolate Thunder has earned the respect of MVP tonight. He sure has, and now MVP's calling for a mic. First of all, I'd like to thank you for having me in your house tonight. Thanks for the warm welcome. Bay Area is always a place for a time to have, uh, let's say, enlightened fun of a higher level. Oh! And I was looking forward to the opportunity to work with Willie Mack. I heard a lot about him, I saw his stuff, and I thought, Let's see if this old man can keep up with these three bucks, huh? This close, Willie. This close, you almost had me. Almost. But you know who messed up even worse than you? The WWE for not signing you, brother. Thank you. from MVP, echoing the sentiments of this crowd here at the Bayshore Community Center wow, John. in Daly City, California, KG. Unbelievable. MVP got the victory, experience won the race, but I think Willie Mack got a lot of rub and learned a lot in this match, and I think we're only gonna see bigger and better things from Chocolate Thunder, AKA the Chocolate Shallow.